He's walking on an exposed nub of an ankle. Meet Yoshi. They found the kitty running out of a tool shed in her backyard, and as the kitty ran away, she noticed it was missing its back feet. The woman who found him called the Azalea City Cat Coalition for help. Sometimes the umbilical cord can get wrapped around extremities or parts of kittens while they're in the womb and cut off blood supply. And they'll become like rubber bands and they'll cause strangulation of the limbs and tails. Dr. Zimlick sees 10 to 15 cats a year with problems like Yoshi's. I've seen many kittens that have had one limb affected and they do very well, but this is the first cat that I've seen bilateral or rear limb affected. And this little kitten probably would not have survived without getting help. Now specialists with Alabama Artificial Limb and Orthopedic Services are partnering with veterinarians and the Azalea City Cat Coalition to give Yoshi a new walk on life. We're going to have to wrap the muscles around the bone and prepare a pad that will tolerate the pressure of the prosthesis. Yoshi will get temporary prosthetic paws to get him used to the feeling until he gets big enough for the ones he'll use the rest of his life. Dr. Zimlick says after Yoshi is all healed up, he may be able to help others. And when we look at the human-animal bond mm -hmm. and his ability to potentially one day maybe be a therapy cat so that they may help the transition of a person who's recently lost a limb. You can find more information about Yoshi and donate to his recovery fund on our website, WKRG.com. Reporting in Mobile, Dana Winter, WKRG News 5.